unfortunately animals are also used for testing and not just for food. So this is 10 reasons why we should stop animal testing. So the first point is because 100 million animals in the US alone are used every single year for animal testing. So this means that 100 million animals are going to be used for biology lessons, for medical training, and for tests for foods, drugs, and cosmetics. Two, three. Come here. I want to take you on a trip. It won't be pretty. Look. What do we see? Testing. Test, testing. Testing. Animal testing. They get hurt. Bad. Bad. The kind of burning, eating, fear producing, cage circling, screaming, screaming, screaming hurt that we shudder to even imagine. All in the name of research. And the third reason why we should stop animal testing, not mentioning the fact that it's cruel and harmful and abusive to the animals, but because 92% of experimental trials on animals that have proven to be safe and effective are not safe and are indeed dangerous to humans. So we are basically abusing these animals for nothing. Reason number four is because the animals are forced to endure such horrible conditions. They are forced to inhale toxic fumes. Some have holes drilled into their skulls and others have their skin burnt off or even their spinal cords crushed just for us. This is so unnecessary. We don't need to harm animals. There are plenty of cruelty-free products on the market that don't use animals and do not use and abuse animals. Reason number five is that the animals are confined to barren cages and are obviously psychologically traumatized. Reason number six is these animals are not protected under the Animal Welfare Act and I'm not saying that there should be a law or something to do something cruel in a so-called better way but these animals should be given their own rights to freedom and free and we're not confined to cages. Number seven is that many laboratories that use animals for testing, they're not even required by law to give these animals pain relief. And I'm not saying animal testing is right if we give the animals pain relief. And in fact, it shouldn't happen at all. It should be stopped. We shouldn't be using and abusing animals just for our own sake. But this is just to point out that these animals are given nothing. They're not even considered as animals. They're considered as just objects are used for an industry, for big industry. And you might be questioning why these animals are not getting pain relief. Well, guess who's in charge? It's actually the USDA. And do you think the USDA would be interested in helping the welfare of the animal? No. Everything is all about money. And this is why it's so sad. And reason number eight. So when these laboratories are fully compliant with the law and they do the best that they can, they're still guaranteed to cause harm to the animal. Animals who are used in these laboratories, fully compliant with the law, can still be burned and shocked and poisoned and they're left isolated, no food, starving and also forcibly restrained and this can lead to so much brain damage. And reason number nine why we should quit and stop using animals for testing is because a high profile study was made by the British Medical Journal and they stated that it's completely wasteful and ineffective what we do to these animals. Something that works for an animal like a chimpanzee won't work for us humans. We're biologically different in so many ways. Something that works for a chimpanzee is not guaranteed to work in animals and this just highlights how ineffective and wasteful we're wasting these animals lives and putting them in this stress and all these horrible conditions for nothing really. And reason number 10 is because there have been so many non-animal research methods already out there and they are so much more accurate and so much better than the cruel things we do to these animals. So yet again another reason to stop animal testing. So what can you do? 
where you can check for these labels and it will show you whether a product has been tested on an animal but it's important that you don't mistake them for other labels that have been floating around just because the brand wants to look better and some businesses use just fake cruelty free logos but I'll put the labels around me showing you which ones you shouldn't be fooled by and something that you can take away from this video is that if you fund non-animal tested products then we can drive out the products that are being tested on animals so it's just really just changing where your money is going and not funding something that is so cruel and remember that one by one we can make a difference